In today's video, I'm going to give you my top three websites to source your 3D plants. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer, and I see you. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, I'm going to tell you my three favorite websites to source plants. So, as a garden designer, a landscape architect, um, maybe more a little bit as a garden designer, you really want to build up your plant library. You have a few problems with that. Plants are normally very high polygon models. What that means is they are very complex in their making and you're normally using them a lot in your project. So even if it's a small project, you might use maybe 20 times that model. Okay. Um, if you're planting around the garden, as you can see here, for example, um, in this little border, I'm using quite a lot of, uh, a lot of um, plant models already. And this is a really small space. So if you have a big project, this is really big concern. You really need a, a really good computer for this um, but you could use as well low polygon plants more simple plants okay that normally is in the flower that you see okay you have a more simple uh, flower uh, arrangement sometimes it's even just as you can see here with printed um, it's like um, imagine that you have uh, three or four uh, images of their flower and they they cross each other so they make it look like it's 3d uh, it's actually a, a few um, 2d plants uh, crossing together uh, this is the basic um, i can explain really um, but you know in general it gives you really cool effect so lumion has that a lot some of them the, the old models they are really really needs an update um, so um, you know hopefully soon but after you have other websites you can source plants like for example i have this one here this lavandula here uh, this is sourced already you have more detail you have more complexity in the model so a lot more uh, realism as well um, and I love them okay you have this digitalis here and I love it as well so I love to source plants like this artemisia you can see really quite complex leaves uh, but normally it is in the flowers a lot of flowery um, uh, plants a lot of flowery vegetation can be really really heavy so that's a concern. Another concern is that anything you source in your library, it's static. Okay. So if it's not from the default Lumion library, or if you're working twin motion, the same applies. Um, anything else is static. So I'm going to give you after a few tips and tricks to, to just, you know, uh, to get that static feeling. That's a concern if you're doing animations. Um, but this is something I'm going to discuss after in another video. But today I want to give you really where do I source my plants and why do I choose these websites as my favorite. So first of all, the first one has to be Max3. I love Max3. They're the highest quality in terms of plants. They have this uh, feature that you can see here, high poly and low poly. So if you really low, uh, if you know that's something that you're going to use a lot, uh, um, and you're really concerned with how much uh, weight is going to take in your computer, um, choose a low polygon plant. But they have this amazing collection. This is like plants that normally go together, okay? They're really high quality. And what you need if you're using uh, Lumion or uh, Twin Motion is just the FBX uh, format, okay? That's the one I choose, okay? Um, so yeah, it's not cheap if you're building up a collection, but as you can see here, you have, um, you have like 12 species in this collection. Okay. So you divide this, uh, normally it's 95, the, the high polygon, low polygon, uh, it seems like it's a little bit cheaper. I didn't realize that. Uh, but yeah, for 12 species. So, you know, um, you'll build up your library. So FBX, um, is all you need and you have uh, plants that go normally together. So Max3 is definitely my favorite. Second favorite, and especially if I'm really uh, just wanting a specific species of plant, and not in a collection, for example, I go to the Turbo Squid. Okay, this is uh, normally um, other 
people that model plants that they are really you know they're amazing artists they do this amazing 3d models of specific plants and you know you can you can uh, you can um, you can source them in here specific models let's just try it out um for example i don't know if they have any gouders or maybe they have with different name So okay, for they have here from X frog plants, which is really good quality. So pretty cool, as and you can see here how it how it's showing. Um, this is not the structure of a normal gara, but um, I'm having concerns about the structure. So if you know your planting, you're gonna see as well. It happens sometimes. Some models they are not exactly. Uh, like they are um, or they maybe we need you know um, in your country they might vary the structure of the plant you might have uh, different uh, variations as well but as you can see you have a lot of plants here x frog plants they are normally really really good as well so you know that's um, and I love the creeper plants this is something that's really hard to get in uh, in um to get good quality in terms of 3d models anything that's pendulous or you know like creepers and vines are falling um so this is really cool collections as you can see here this is a, a, a collection um of a few uh, plant species so it's more expensive but normally i use turbo squid to buy individual plants and in is normally eight something or maybe in here um you have some that they are uh, 12 dollars but normally i buy uh, the last ones i purchased it was 840 or something like this um but yeah just you need to make sure that you have the fbx here um uh, the format is what you want and you have the textures and everything another thing about turbo squid is that their customer service is really good so and they're really quick so if you have any problem at all or if you realized after that it doesn't have the the file format that you need um if you didn't download it they refund it straight away so the the customer service is really really good okay uh but yeah for a sp a specific individual plants i always come here uh, uh, the last one and I'm only talking about paid websites okay because the first one you should always go for your plant models is a 3d warehouse that's the first one you should go just if you don't find it there um, then you come to these ones okay but that's it's I didn't even mention that in the beginning because I think it's very straightforward everyone needs to go there first um, but glow plants um, they are more expensive um, I never compared really, but I think they are more expensive than Max 3. Uh, they have some collections, uh, as you can see here, for example, let's do a, 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 a little comparison here. Okay, so you have this uh, Vines Creepers collection models. Let me just see if 75 unique low polygon plants, but from 15 species, okay? Uh, so what they have is like the same species with different growths or different shapes in terms of growth, things like this, okay? Um, okay, 15, and this is 180. I find that, you know, but you have this... Uh, fbx is the one i use you can use uh, sketchup as well this is a bit pricey for me to be honest um because you know if you come here to max 3 uh, let's go maybe in the high polys i want to find the creepers one that they have maybe this one Sorry guys, should have this prepared really, it'll be easier. I thought I had a collection of just vines and maybe not. I just wanted to compare more or less the same plant species. Uh, let's see this one for vertical gardens. You have quite a lot of plants that are probably... So you have, for example, in here if you want just the fbx uh, format you're gonna pay much less you're gonna pay only 95 okay an individual you're only gonna pay uh, it's a hundred dollars difference um so you know um glow plants they really as 
good as quality as Max 3 to be honest but I find them really really pricey sometimes okay what you've got here as well is individual plants while Max 3 it's all about collections in here you have um, individual plants as well that you can purchase again uh, they are normally more expensive than for example um, turbo squid um, if you want to go there first okay uh, and you might consider if you're paying like $20 for bougainvillea you might consider go to the max tree see where the bougainvillea is in a, in a collection okay and purchase the collection it might be it might be um, bougainvillea. it might be uh, worth it for you am I Sorry, I'm blocking out. Okay, so you have here, for example, I have this one, this 37. You have really nice bougainvilleas. I'm going to show you quickly. And you have this one and you have um, 11 species of um, climbers. Okay, so you have a bougainvillea with this tree uh, growth size. Okay. Uh, more actually they are like five um, five or six different yeah so as you can see here it might be worth it instead of uh, spending here uh, okay you have different colors here and they're not um, this is something to think about really you know um, because you know it can be really really expensive if you if you begin to purchase plants like this uh, i normally prefer the collections investing in a collection from x3 and if i really really uh, concerned with the species i need i go to turbo squid so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think um i'll put uh, an animation of this border here that i'm just in love with and uh, Check out my next video. It's all about tweaking uh, static plants in animations to make it seem like they have movement, but they really don't. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.